the entrance and the dawn. The good shepherd is risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Hallelujah. Good morning. The mass, the intention of the mass this morning is for Betty Portalon. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred visions. You are said to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father that you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Jews and the Gentiles, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, where he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witnesses. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Amen. The response to our song, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Amen. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not 
Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has my commandments and observes them, is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, will be with us and teach us everything and remind us of everything. This is a beautiful message from Jesus to his disciples. It's a beautiful message for us. And we certainly see this Holy Spirit working throughout the Acts of the Apostles and particularly in today's first reading. Paul, the, the Jewish authorities and Gentiles were ready to stone and, and, and convict Paul. But he and Barnabas flee to another city. And what do they do when they get there? The same thing that got them in trouble in the last city. They began proclaiming the good news and setting captives free. Only through the courage of the Holy Spirit were they able to go on and proclaim the good news with fear, without fear that they might be persecuted and stoned there. Next, Paul is able, through the gift of the Holy Spirit, to have his eyes open and to see in this crippled man the faith that will heal him. And Paul is open to the Holy Spirit to be an instrument of this healing, and he's able to heal him. Finally, at the end of the reading, it says that Paul could hardly keep those Gentiles there from worshiping both him and Barnabas, and out of humility, he deflects their worship and points it all to God. He proclaims with our psalmist, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Brothers and sisters, through the gift of baptism, through the gift of Jesus sending the Holy Spirit to be with us, we all have the Holy Spirit alive and working in us. We have only to be aware and to cooperate. The Spirit gives us courage when we feel persecuted give us courage to go through each day, to get through each thing in our lives. The Holy Spirit opens our eyes to those who are in need, those who may need healing. It opens our eyes to see the faith in others so that we may be inspired by their faith and encourage their faith. Finally, the Holy Spirit gives us humility. The Holy Spirit reminds us that nothing good we do comes from us. It only comes from God. And we're only to give God the glory for all the good that we do. So as we receive Jesus in the Eucharist today, 
as we receive and we're reminded of that gift of the Holy Spirit. Our prayer is that we may, may remain firm in that gift, have our eyes and our hearts open, and to always love with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Gathered together as one spirit in Christ, we bring to him the following prayers and petitions. That all leaders and members of the church may be graced with the guidance and wisdom of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That God's Holy Spirit may strengthen elected officials in their work to protect the most vulnerable, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that those who have turned from God may receive from him the grace of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent enactment in our archdiocese. Let, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our deceased loved ones, for those whose names are on our Easter memorial board, that they may know the resurrected Christ for eternal and eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, we bring you these prayers, knowing and trusting that you hear and answer us, your beloved children, for you live and reign forever and ever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to thank you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. 
Therefore, O oh God, with lasting joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gregor, our bishop, Shireen, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive others. graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. 
who have not of our sins and of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other in the sight of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion answered on, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the masses and say, Michael, we are in the name of the Lord. We are in the name of the Lord. We are in the name of the Lord.